Landlubbers? Ever wonder how those mammoth ships effortlessly glide into port like they own the place? It's not magic, it's the pilot. This seasoned professional is the key that unlocks harbors, guiding vessels through tricky waters and onto safe shores. But this isn't just about docking a ship. It's about safety, efficiency, and preventing those oops, wrong-turn moments that can turn paradise into pandemonium. One wrong maneuver, one missed current, and suddenly... Things can get hairy, really fast. So join us as we peel back the layers of the pilot's world, exploring the knowledge, skills, and razor-sharp focus that makes them the ultimate harbor navigators. Join us as we explore the crucial procedures that ships must implement before the harbor pilot boards, ensuring a safe handover and smooth passage through ports. But who sets these guidelines? Who establishes the laws and regulations that govern the safe operation of harbor pilots and the efficient movement of vessels? With maritime incidents becoming increasingly prevalent, the question of accountability becomes more pressing than ever. Who is responsible for ensuring maritime safety, and what laws and instructions guide their efforts? Delve into the world of port safety, unraveling the procedures that ships implement before the pilot boards and the laws and regulations that govern the entire operation. Shed light on the critical role of harbor pilots, the importance of pre-boarding procedures, and the role of maritime regulations in preventing accidents and fostering a safer maritime environment. In the dynamic world of maritime transportation, where safety is paramount, the pre-pilot boarding checklist and maritime regulations stand as pillars of trust and efficiency. Before arrival, cargo ships set the stage for a smooth pilot welcome. Masters notify authorities, providing ship details and ETA. Pilots are assigned, and crucial info like route, hazards and weather is exchanged. The ship prepares a safe boarding point, ladder or platform, ready to receive the pilot, who may also arrive by pilot boat. What happens before a marine pilot is welcomed aboard a ship? The ships must follow strict Emo and Solace rules for pilot safety before welcoming aboard. Ladders, platforms, and weather limits are all checked. Additionally, organizations like IMPA offer extra guidance, ensuring pilots have the latest information. Protection clubs also share vital safety insights, keeping everyone on board informed. The International Maritime Organization EMO putting regulation prioritizes the well-being of pilots. Key takeaways include, secure access, ships must provide sturdy platforms and ladders with proper handrails and lighting for safe pilot boarding. Clear communication, open communication between the ship, pilot boat, and authorities remains crucial throughout the transfer. Proper equipment, well-maintained ladders, platforms, winches, and safety lines are essential. 
Weather wisdom, transfers should be avoided when harsh weather presents safety risks. Trained crew, ship crews must be familiar with procedures and emergency plans. Pilot expertise, pilots should have appropriate experience with the specific harbor and its conditions. SOLAS prioritizes pilot safety. Here's how your practices should reflect this, ready clean, all equipment like ladders and ropes must be spotless, well maintained, and inspected regularly. They're for people only, so treat them with care. Supervise Connect, a responsible officer, with bridge communication, overseas setup and embarkation. They also ensure a safe pilot route to and from the bridge. Certified ladders, use only manufacturer certified or internationally recognized standard ladders. Keep them clearly marked for tracking, and record any repairs. Remember, every step matters. By following these guidelines, you prioritize pilot safety and ensure smooth, secure transfers. The role of pilots, when a pilot arrives on a ship's navigation bridge. And the words at the command of the master on the advice of the pilot appear in the logbook, the legal relationship between the pilot and the master is established. The pilot is a highly trained and qualified expert in the port and its harbor and has excellent ship handling skills. He advises the captain on the conduct of the vessel within the local harbor limits and is responsible for the safe and smooth flow of traffic as well as for environmental protection. make us this sharp turn into Harlingen. So then you swing around here and right here. This can you see the bird is The common mistakes that can lead to accidents when marine pilots climb onto the ship. In this part, we will shed light on some of the common mistakes made by marine pilots while climbing onto the ship. This is indeed a deck tull, also sometimes called a pilot ladder hook or boarding bar. It's used as a temporary attachment point for a pilot ladder when a pilot needs to board the ship. The International Maritime Organization and other maritime authorities strongly advise against using deck tongues due to several risks. The deck tongue can damage the pilot ladder, weakening its structure and compromising its safety. Improper bulwark setup puts pilots at risk. Tying the ladder directly strains the bulwark, risking failure under pilot weight. Loose ropes offer insecure attachment susceptible to weather and movement. Platform placed over the securing area of the ladder. It's not recommended or considered safe for pilot boarding. Here's why. The platform blocks the view of the ladder and its connection points from the deck, making it difficult to assess if everything is properly secured and ready for use. This can lead to potential safety hazards if issues are missed. A spreader is a great invention to prevent a pilot ladder from twisting. Without a spreader, you might look at the horizon instead of the ship's side all of a sudden. How to get back in a good position when something like that happens? Therefore every ladder with more than five steps must have a spreader that is what a spreader is made for and not for keeping a ladder secure to strong points on deck, 
steps can handle 800 kilos and side ropes 2,400 kilos each. Non-compliant setup. The pictured setup is unsafe because the ladder is too far from the platform 0.2 meters and likely at a steep angle 45 degrees. Emo A.1045.27 specifies requirements for the platform, stanchions, and handrails for safe transfer. Embarkation platforms, ship side platforms offering safe boarding disembarking, especially with high freeboard. Emo rules, minimum requirements set by SOLAS for platform use in pilot transfers. Platform build, strong, secure, supporting pilot and equipment weight. The pilot ladder winch reel Emo rules on winch placement, unobstructed access, winch position should allow safe climbing without hitting it. The pictured setup is unsafe climbing leads you straight onto the winch. Entry point, access can be through a ship opening, ladder, or single pilot ladder section. This setup forces a sideways step to the deck, another potential hazard. High freeboard, if a spreader horizontal beam blocks access due to a high freeboard, the winch must be relocated to avoid obstructions. Shackles False friends for pilot ladders the brutal truth, shackles twist and weaken ropes, compromising the ladder's strength. Under weight, the ladder bypasses the ropes, relying on weaker parts, like skipping leg day. Impact danger, a collision with a pilot launch could slap the weakened ladder, risking lives. Why use them? Convenience, surprisingly, and legal loopholes. But convenience shouldn't cost lives. Ditch the shackles. Choose proper methods, respect pilot safety, and prioritize regulations. Share this, spread the word, and prioritize safety. Your safety, as well as the safety of your fellow crewmates is every crew person's responsibility. The same responsibilities apply to those visiting your vessel, including marine pilots. There has been a tragic increase in marine pilot fatalities in recent months and pilots around the globe are paying particular attention to the conditions of pilot ladders of the vessels they board. Many have refused to board vessels where ladders are in poor working condition. SOLAS Regulation Pilot transfer arrangements set forth the standards and requirements for boarding arrangements, responsibility of ship's personnel in rigging pilot transfer equipment, associated pilot transfer equipment, clear access and lighting. When the vertical freeboard to the water level is more than 30 feet 9 meters, a combination ladder arrangement, consisting of a pilot ladder and an accommodation ladder at the same time, is normally used. The reason for this is that a fall from more than 30 feet 9 meters into the water is considered mortal. There are many things to keep in mind when rigging a combination ladder. The pilot ladder safety, avoid overloading steps and spreaders. Transfer weight to strong points using secure ropes rolling hitch recommended. Skip shackles, tongues, bars, 
and chocks they can damage the ladder and endanger pilots. The sharp, deck edges threaten pilot ladder safety. Crews must be vigilant and protect ropes and ladder sections from such hazards. A simple fix, weld round pipes over sharp edges to safeguard the ladder and crew. This prevents damage and injury. To embark and to disembark from a ship, you transfer from the pilot boat using a pilot transfer arrangement consisting of a pilot ladder and an accommodation ladder, depending on the height to be reached. This is the stage where the most serious accidents can occur, due to falls onto the pilot boat or into the sea. Falling from height causes most of the serious accidents during the transfer. To focus on the consequences of falling from heights, falling from heights can be caused by slipping, letting go, a broken ladder, or loss of balance. A fall from 3 meters can result in serious injuries. A fall from 5 meters can lead to disabilities. A fall from 8 meters can be fatal. Whenever, a pilot or other person embarks or disembarks from a ship, by ladder. They entrust their safety to the pilot transfer arrangements provided by the ship and the pilot boat crew. For that reason, we must be following the rules as per, EMO. SOLAS. ISM code, ISO 799-1. Here in this video, the France Maritime Pilot. Explain how is the Marine Pilot Ladder installed and what is requirement. ongoing inspection and maintenance of pilot boarding arrangements are essential to ensure their continued safe operation. Paragraph 10.1 of Part A of the International Safety Management Code. ISM requires ship operators to establish procedures to ensure a ship is maintained in conformity with the relevant rules and regulations, including pilot transfer arrangements. Such procedures should include regular inspections of the pilot transfer arrangements 
and storage to prevent damage to such equipment when not in use. The common defects areas can be the pilot ladder thimble ends. Another common area is the frayed or damaged side ropes. These should be detected during routine visual inspections. If side ropes are frayed or degraded, the ladder should not be used. The man ropes used as part of the arrangements should also be regularly inspected. There have been two recent incidents of man ropes parting during transfer operations. Though rope type is not specified in SOLAS, these should be tagged and included in onboard inspection and maintenance procedures. Good practice dictates these should be removed from service at the same intervals of not more than 30 months or sooner if required. Trap door arrangements and use of combinations ladder. There has been an increase in ships fitted with trapdoor arrangements. The additional requirement for their use is that the pilot ladder and man ropes shall be rigged through the trapdoor extending above the platform to the height of the handrail. If the pilot ladder and man ropes are not rigged through the trapdoor, this creates an unsafe arrangement for persons. When conducting port state control inspections, inspectors will pay particular attention to the material state of all equipment and the implementations during recent PSC inspections. Surveyors have noted pilot ladders, which have been constructed with splices in the side ropes. Pilot ladders constructed like this are considered non-compliant by inspectors. Ship's crew must use this checklist every time a pilot ladder is used. This checklist is from pilotladdersafety.com. Gentlemen's, while the pilot guides the ship, the crew holds the lifeline, their sharp eyes see every snagged line, and their swift hands secure every ladder run. From briefing to a safe landing, teamwork is the ultimate shield. Remember, a vigilant crew is a pilot's strongest compass, steering everyone home safe and sound.